In this video, we're doing right Riemann sums. Uh, again, we're using FRQ questions, so take a moment, pause, and read this question. Thank you for reading the question. Uh, the topic is Joanna jogging along a straight path from 0 to 40 in time minutes, uh, going in meters per minute. If we skip down to part B, using correct units, explain the meaning of the definite integral from 0 to 40 of the absolute value of V of T dt. Well, when you see the absolute value bars, that means total distance traveled, as opposed to net distance traveled. Uh, and the time frame is from 0 to 40, so that's over the first 40 minutes. So we would explain that it is the total distance traveled by Joanna jogging during the first 40 minutes in meters. They then ask us to approximate that using a right Riemann sum for subintervals, so n is 4. Well, the first thing we have to notice is because of the absolute value bars, all of our velocities need to be positive. They snuck in a negative here, so we need to make that a positive 220. Let's see what we're skipping by. We're skipping by 12, 8, 4, and 16 in a right Riemann sum. Never use the first height value. Remember, this is like base and this is like height. And let's start writing our rectangles. Our first rectangle would be 200 times 12. Our second rectangle would be 240 times 8. Our third rectangle would be 220 times 4. And our final rectangle would be 150 times 16. If they give you a calculator, throw this into your calculator and get a value. If not, then you'll need to multiply by hand and add them up. Uh, they do not, in this problem, talk about uh, overestimate or underestimate. Uh, a generic idea on this, though, so you can get a picture of what we're doing, is if we have a graph that's looking like this, a right Riemann sum means the top right corner of each rectangle is touching the curve. Okay, So let's see how AP would assign values to this. Uh, three points. First point, explanation. Notice, total distance Joanna jogs in meters over the time interval. One point. Second point is to set up your Riemann sum right there. Third point would be the approximation, 7,600 meters. Let's do another one. Pause and take a moment and read this question. Thank you for reading the question. Let's take a look at what's going on. Again, keep in mind, this is my base, this is my height. So here, we're skipping by two, we're skipping by three. This one skips by two, this one skips by four, this one skips by one. Right Riemann sum, let's look down here. Use right Riemann sum with five subintervals, so n is five this time, uh, using the data from 0 to 12. Again, we don't use our first height value, so our first Riemann rectangle would be 4.0 times our height of 2. Our second Riemann sum would be 2.0 times our height of 3. Our third rectangle would be 1.2 times a height of 2. Our fourth rectangle would be 0.6 times a height of 4. Our final rectangle would be 0.5 times a height or a base of 1. Uh, if they give you a calculator, throw that in the calculator and get a value. If not, then you need to multiply and add up by hand. Using correct units, explain the meaning of this in terms of the radius of the balloon. So we're talking about uh, the total change in the radius, uh, the total amount of change uh, over the time frame from 0 to 12 uh, in feet. So let's see how AP would grade that. You've got your approximation this time was worth one point. So set up and answer. 
and then your explanation, the change in the radius in feet during that time frame, one point.